<sighs> hey, back with another another little tip on um, something that might be helpful for you for for water trapping. Um, <clears throat> these are big game gut gloves, and I, and I really like them. Um, so I I found out about them from uh, uh, what is it Trapping Time TV I think Robbie Gilbert's show. <clears throat> um, they're a sponsor I think of his show and and um, run a commercial uh, I think at least once a show maybe twice a show for these um, so you just you know if you just type in big game gut glove into Google they, they come right up um, <clears throat> they're really good gloves I really like them a lot um, this this is the first pair that I got and they are the insulated version so there's an insulated version a non-insulated version there's a long and a short and the short is basically just from here down, right? Actually, I've got a pair of the shorts here so you can kind of see the length of them. So that's a pair of the shorts, right? So, I mean, those would be good for land trapping, um, you know, water trapping if you know you're not gonna have to get real deep because they do go up over your wrist. But but I like these uh, long gauntlets for, for beaver trapping and, and when I do my water trapping because, you know, sometimes I gotta get down fairly deep into the water with my hands and this keeps me nice and uh, waterproof and, and warm. These are insulated. The only thing that I don't like about them, <clears throat> and I'll roll them up here so you can see the insulation. So this is kind of the normal glove here, and there's a little bit of a uh, fabric on the back, but I wouldn't call it insulated at all. But when you get down to the glove on the insulated part, there's a layer of felt. And it works well. It's, it's good for insulating your hand and keeping your hand warm. The problem is it gets wet um, not that the gloves leak because I haven't had them leak at all and actually you know I use um, some trapping wire you know to tie things off and um, between that you know sticking a sharp end into them occasionally on accident and uh, the trigger wires on 330s and 110s there have been several times when I thought gosh darn it that's the end of those gloves because I thought I had poked a hole in them but I never have yet so um, they're really tough surprisingly tough but anyway um, you know so the gloves don't leak at all but just like perspiration from my hands I guess you know if I got a long walk in or um, you know whatever if I'm carrying a lot of gear um, put these on my hands sweat um, and I end up with that felt liner down in there wet and they are a super pain in the butt to get dry out <clears throat> and I, I don't I don't know any way to do it other than to turn them completely inside out which is a huge pain in the butt because they don't want to turn so you got to get your you know run your hand up into the glove backwards and start shoving on them to try to get them turned all the way out because even if you if you pull it just to that right there and throw it in the dryer, they'll be in the dryer for an hour and the tips down here will still be wet. I mean, they just don't want to dry out for anything. So that's a pain in the butt because, you know, a lot of times when it's really cold outside, um, you know, they, they won't be frozen because I'll bring them inside. But, uh, but just even being wet whenever I get out on the line, um, putting your hands down into gloves that are wet, you know, and it's, you know, in the teens or single digits, man, that it just sucks the heat right out of your hands. So it's not very much fun. And they're not very much fun to work all the way out so you can throw them in the dryer, dry them out completely, and then work them back in so that it's right side out. It just, it takes more time and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, uh, these, these gloves here have about three years on them, three trapping seasons. And you can see they're dirty, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with those gloves at all. And I have not been kind to them in that in that three seasons. So I'm I'm very impressed with the ruggedness of them. They work really well. Um, so I just recently got these, and I guess I think they only come in two colors, blue and orange. I would have got orange again, but all they had in my size was was blue. So blue is what I got. These are the same gloves essentially but they are not insulated so it's the same fabric here as on the glove part and uh, 
that's going to be good, I think, because it's not going to hold that, that moisture. Um, the only bad part about it is, you know, my hand's going to get cold, right? So my arms are good because I'm usually wearing a jacket or something like this. Um, and once you get this up over a, a fleece or something like that, man, it's, it's super warm because no wind gets through here at all and no water gets in there. So you're pretty warm. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do this year is jersey gloves. Thin, but uh, as long as you keep the wind off of your hand and you keep your hand from getting wet in a jersey glove, they're fairly warm. So I'm just going to put on a jersey glove, put the glove on, and it's going to be nice and warm. I've still got that dexterity because these jersey gloves are, are real thin. Um, and I've got enough room with a large jersey glove and an extra large gut glove that, you know, I've got pretty good movement. I can do everything I could do in these gloves. You know, basically it feels about the same as far as the level of insulation and the level of dexterity that I have. But the good thing about this is if I sweat and I get this jersey glove wet, all I got to do is pull it out, throw this in the dryer, grab a new pair, you know, keep rotating through, and these should not be wet, hopefully, on the inside. Uh, and if they are, I think they're going to dry a lot faster than that extra, you know, the extra fleecy material that's in these. So that's the plan for this year. Um, I'll definitely let you know how that works out. But, uh, but either way, you know, I think these are good gloves. These are the best gauntlets I've, I've found and I've used. Oh, I had two or three different pairs. I don't even remember the names of them. Had the strap that went over your back, which I kind of like that to keep the gloves on and tight and up high because I have had these occasionally if I'm not paying attention. You know what I mean? Um, uh, I'm built like a stick figure. So, you know, this thing will work its way down a little bit because um, I don't have any muscles to hold it up. And, uh you know, and I have stuck my hand in over the tops of them because they've kind of worked their way down. So you do kind of got to keep an eye on that, keep it pulled up to make sure you're not going to dunk yourself. But, um, but as long as you do that, man, they, uh, they work out really good and they're much easier to get on and off if you need to, for whatever reason, while you're actually out there on the trap line, it's much easier to get one of these off than it is to get the double with the strap over your back. Those are a pain in the butt to get on and off. So Anyway, that's the plan for this year. I'm gonna go with big game, uh, big game gut gloves and uninsulated, and I'm just gonna wear jersey gloves as a liner, and uh, that way I can switch those out, dry them off as necessary, go in with a nice dry pair of gloves every day, and hopefully not freeze my fingers off. <laughs>